Let me ask you a question about that dry bar stuff. You know, did you know when you first jumped up with those people that how that was going to change your life? No, I had no idea. And I did one of the very first ones. I taped one of the very first ones in, in uh, January or February of 2017. And uh, they didn't know what they were doing. They even said they didn't know what they were doing. And uh, they dropped a couple of short videos that were about 60 seconds long and they got 50 or 60,000 views. And I thought that was great. And then about a year later, a couple of guys started getting about a million views. And I, I, I emailed the guy, said, can you put up another clip of mine? Because um, I, in my head, I'm thinking, those, those clips aren't better than mine. Yeah. And then he said, yeah, I'll do it. And he goes, we found that longer clips work better. So he put up that five minute one about the millennials and it did 33 million views in 10 days. And it's just nobody more surprised than me. I was stunned. And, and what happened as a result of that? What, what well, suddenly that? then all of a sudden people knew who I was and wanted to know, you know, started finding out about me or looking for me. And we released another video immediately. Uh, and within, I think within about two months, I had about 60, 70 million views in about two months. And then people were, and then suddenly people wanted to buy tickets to come see me. That was well, the biggest thing. What a story. You know, there's a million roads to the center of town, but you, you, I didn't know that one. Right. You know? and, right. and when I first saw you, I started watching you and I thought, where has this guy been? He's so polished. He's so good. You know, and I don't know why. There's something about you that reminds me, even though you guys are completely different, of David Brenner. Oh, I love David Brenner. Yeah. He's one of my favorites. As a kid, when I watched on The Tonight Show, I, I loved watching David Brenner. Yeah, he took it so serious. He was such a good, he was such a skilled craftsman, you know? Right. For you to come out from dry bar. And it's funny because obviously one of the requirements, I believe, is that they want you to be really clean, right? Right. So that that's kind of replacing the old Tonight Show. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and I think that that's probably those people that would have wanted to see that Tonight Show style, that they're loving that medium. Yeah, it's doing very well. Um, you know, and they'll... The video that I did that went crazy brought a lot of people to dry bar because nobody knew what it was. And and all of a sudden they're like, well, what is this? And then every comedian went, well, I need to do a dry bar. I want to do a dry bar. So, well, um, I noticed that no, you're kind of, you're kind of the most watched on dry bar. Yeah. I am. I am their number one viewed dry bar comedian. That's great. Uh, yeah. And like when you go into the office, can you just like knock things over and stuff? And <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen to me. We're changing there's the a, name Dry Bar. It's Brad Bar. There's a, there's a, uh, uh, it's a bunch of hair salons around the country called Dry Bar. Did you I know, know that? There was, yeah, I do know. Yeah, I walked in. I told one day, I walked in there like I owned the place. Nobody knew who I was. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah.